And with any founder, you're creating something from nothing. So there's got to be a reason why you're going to take this leap. And there's got to be some type of internal driver that really pushes you to be operating in this space. You know, a lot of people who are going to go into that space, they know their, their failure rate's pretty high, but they're going to beat the odds. They believe they can beat the odds and they believe that their idea or you know, product is good enough that it can, you know, kind of face the market and be victorious. Sometimes those individuals, however, you know, that fire is kept down and kind of tamped down. They don't want to, um, you know, they don't want to bring it forward sometimes in the ways that feel egotistical, or maybe it feels a little too cocky or confident. And so how do you bring that forward in a way that's effective and not in a way that's going to, you know, push people away or turn people off? Usually people have great deep resolve and conviction in what they're doing. And when you pull that forward, it's, ins it's inspirational to other people. I mean, your employees want to see that. They want to see the founder engaged and they want to hear that kind of conviction. I think investors look for it too, honestly, to show you know, engagement and what the company is going to look like and what this founder can weather in the storms to come. So it's an important element to, to kind of bring forward to some of that drive and fire. And I think it also is really energizing um, to be able to sit in that space and be able to convey that to your team. Now, that's obviously probably very uh, personal and specific to, to each founder, but you have had the, the great benefit of talking to uh, extremely successful people across different countries, across different industries. Is there any sort of... Uh, universality or, or common advice that that our listeners today could benefit from? I think with every founder that or, or even executive or, or incredibly successful person, they are all with without exception, they're all autodidactic. So they're all self learners. They're all people who never stop growing. They're all people who are incredibly open to always being on the edge of their particular area of profession. Uh, they're not the person who like went to college and the last time they opened a book was like that final senior year. Uh, they're people who are watching webinars and they're, you know, engaging with content, they're engaging on Twitter, they're engaging in other places, they're trying to learn from others, they want to win, um, and they want to kind of enrich themselves with the information that's going to help them do that and have that edge. So I think no matter what industry, whether we're talking about e-com or we're talking about, you know, a, a founder who's doing a SaaS product, Everybody who is ultimately incredibly successful seems like they are bringing in information all the time and they take the time to do it. Um, so I think that can be challenging too, but uh, finding time to make sure that you're always learning, always ahead of your game um, is really, really important to, to getting where you need to go.